the people who build the vehicle, all of our manufacturing people. It's a big team. They've been working on it for many years, and they have done an extraordinary job of building the most reliable, most beautiful, uh, most fun, I mean, I can vouch for that. I'll get to that in a second, vehicle. Um, and we owe them a deep uh, gratitude. And uh, the people who kept us safe today, who operated the vehicle, our trainers, everybody. It's just huge. Uh, I also want to thank the town of Van Horn. This is a small and amazing little town. Um, and, uh, you know, we're making a, a dent in it. And we appreciate you uh, for allowing us to be part of your town. And, uh, and then I also I want to thank... Uh, Every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer, because you guys paid for all of this. <laughs> so seriously, for every Amazon customer out there and every Amazon employee, thank you from the bottom of my heart very much. Uh, it's very appreciated. And, uh, you know, now on to how it felt. Oh, my God. <laughs> My expectations were high, and they were dramatically exceeded. The, uh, the, we were talking about this a little bit uh, in the car ride on the way back, and I, I don't know, the, the, the zero G piece may have been one of the biggest surprises because it felt so normal. It felt so like almost like we were as humans evolved to be in that environment, which I know is impossible, but it felt so serene and peaceful and the floating. It's actually much nicer than being in full one gravity. Um, uh, it's a very pleasurable experience just from the sheer, just the way it feels, the tactileness of it. Uh, that it you know, the, the most profound piece of it for me was looking out at the Earth and looking at the Earth's atmosphere. Every astronaut Everybody who's been up into space, they say this, that it changes them, and they look at it, and they're kind of amazed and, and awestruck by the Earth and its beauty, but also by its fragility. And I can vouch for that. Um, when I look out, you know, when we're sitting in this room and when we're driving our cars and we're moving around the planet in our normal ways, the atmosphere is so gigantic. You know, we're these tiny little things, and the planet, the atmosphere is so big. But when you get up above it, what you see is it's actually incredibly thin. It's this tiny little fragile thing. And as we move about the planet, we're damaging it. And, you know, so that is, um, you know, that's, it, that, that's a very profound. It's one thing to recognize that intellectually. It's another thing to actually see with your own eyes how fragile it really is. And that was amazing.